Jonas. We are under attack by Acred Swarm. Large quantities need backup. Does anyone copy? Over. Peronis, roger that. Flying to assist. Be there ASAP. Holy cow, Jim, is that you? I don't know how you're alive, but we need you, brother. Hurry, Corona's out. We've got flyers coming in from the interior canyon. Markham, can you assist? No can do. We've got our own problems in the rack area. Hutchings, can you assist in the deck area? Hutchings? Anybody? It's Jim. The cavalry's arrived. Yes, Jim! Kick him in the air! Be right there. Jim! You're back! Oh, that's awesome! Please, come save my ass. Well, ain't that a kick in the teeth? My favorite customer is alive. And just in time for the party. Here they come. Show me what you got. Some 
shooting there. I knew you had skills. Okay, okay, you better get going. I can handle myself here. See you later, Jim. Vacation, huh? Yeah, it's a real summer at the beach. Welcome back, boss. <laughs> This is why I never leave the hangar. <laughs> I bet I can shoot more of them than you can, Peter. Nice. I bet you really miss this one projecting his insecurities. What? Talk English, boy. Looks like that's the last of them. Jim, we need you back on the main deck. More bogeys on approach. On my way. Dude. This is Roman, do you read me? Is it true you're here at Corona's? Doc? What are you doing back here? I heard the same distress call you did, no doubt. They're trying to find out what's causing this frenzy, and I think the answer's in Kenny's lab. But we need more firepower to punch through. Roger that. I'm inbound.
relentless. When is this gonna stop? This facility is an emergency lockdown. Elevator lockdown has been bypassed. Appreciated. Please remember to report any indigenous life forms within the station to the appropriate zone manager. James, over here! Listen, your resident super genius built some kind of experimental machine that's drawing the acrid here and agitating them more than usual. Why would Kovach build something to cause this? You're asking the wrong scientist. See the quarantine room in the center of the lab? Right through the glass there? You blast your way in and put a stop to this mess. We'll keep him off your tail.
Good heavens! How long have you been not dead? Oh, you're just in time to witness my breakthrough. Isn't this spectacular? Look at them all. I'm working on it, guys. Unnecessary. I'm sure I only needed to adjust the frequency. Yeah, sorry for the inconvenience. Hope saving your life didn't put you out. Oh no, I forgive you. I know carnage and mayhem is part of your nature. Without it, you just wouldn't be you. Or nearly as useful to me. You made a device that can drive the acrid crazy. Well, I would need to run more experiments to know for sure. Establishing a baseline of sanity for these creatures might be prohibitive of itself. Nevertheless, I'm glad the base was able to witness my breakthrough. What, you, you telling me you did this on purpose? No, not at all. But the experiment is still a resounding success. The acrid were influenced. Don't you see? I figured out how they communicate and I've replicated it. In the course of dissecting many varieties of acrid, I found a receptor that they all had in common. You might understand it as sort of a biological radio receiver, but you'd be stupid because it's vastly more complicated than that. T-energy is an unusual element with uniquely resonant electromagnetic properties. It's, it's more than blood and energy. It's how the acrid coordinate with each other. It seems I found a vibration frequency that puts them in an agitated state, which is of limited use itself, but just imagine what else we might be able to do with this. If I can, if I can find the wavelength that would calm the acrid and render them docile, then harvest T energy in the quantities we require would be a matter of simple logistics, such as designing a sufficiently massive slaughterhouse. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and leave you in there. It's okay. I actually think better in confined spaces. Auxiliary power systems at 30%. James, a moment. Listen, I don't want to cause a general panic or anything, but just glancing at Coronas while heading in, she's in bad shape. The way the storms are increasing in intensity, I'm concerned it's only a matter of time until the structural integrity is compromised. I don't know, Doc. Seems like a pretty good reason to panic. You got any suggestions? I may. There are some tests I'd like to run, but I'd need your help. 
Wait for my call and we'll chat properly. In the meantime, I'm sure Braddock wants to catch up with you. They've stopped. The Acred are retreating. Looks like Delta Station's in the clear. The swarm is subsiding in the hangar as well. Whatever you did seemed to work, Jim. We're ever thankful. I'm happy to help. Just glad to be back home. Science is not an exact science. At its best, science is, is chaotic and unpredictable. Often produces a foul odor that you cannot scrub from your fingers. Nature has bottomless mysteries and, and contradictions, a fanfare of ironies and impossibilities. Male seahorses bearing litters. Mm. Frogs consuming their own offspring. Entire population infused with its planet's lifeblood. I've observed these things with my own eyes. I've carved the verities of truth from them with my bare hands. Any answer, and I do mean any answer, can be dissected into being. Any secret can be cut open when the scalpel is sharp enough. This is science, right? Uh, 80% patience and 20% is cutting things open. <laughs> Until next time, Mother. Hey, boss. Nice to see everything's still running as smooth as ever. I knew you are still alive. <laughs> so where the hell you been? So, you fought a G-class acrid, fell down the side of a mountain, landed on the other side of Shaq's Peak, and somehow survived for two weeks before you got back into Comrade? Thankfully, the rig was flush with rations and ammo. Lucky timing, I guess. <laughs> I don't know if you've got a good luck charm or you are one. <laughs> And luck feels just like getting my ass kicked. <laughs> Jim, you know, I uh, take you at your word, of course, but uh, I'm sensing there's a little more to your story. Well, now that you mention it, 
Who is this? What is this? Where did you find that? I'm sensing that you already know the answer to that. Don't toy with me, Peyton. What did you find? Why don't you tell me what I found? We're the first humans to set foot on this planet, so obviously I didn't find some 50-year-old Nevek base, did I? Did you keep your voice down? Is that really all you have to say? No. It's important you understand something, Jim. Keeping the first colony under wraps wasn't my idea. It's one of the terms I had to agree to for Nevik to greenlight this mission in the first place. Perception is vital to their interests. I'll go to great lengths to conceal such a debacle. Coronas was set to land far, far from the original site, but the storm forced us down here. Nearer to the truth than I could have even ever hoped. Hoped? Why would you hope for this? That's why. General Charles Braddock, commander of the first Neo-Venus Colonial Expeditionary Force. Your old man led the first colony. Led it, and lost it. And he was never the same. Something happened here. Something you would never talk about. All right, so... You're here to what? Fulfill your father's dreams? Redeem his failures? I'm here to solve the energy crisis, and maybe get some answers with your help. Consider this an opportunity, a standing contract for further investigation. Not for Coronas, but for me personally. And I'll pay a premium for your ongoing discretion. So I get to lie to everybody, too? If it were to this Regis Nevek, they'll take back the whole operation. Put it under paramilitary command. I hate lying to the men, Jim, but it's for their own good. Trust me. I'll see what I can see. <laughs> 